Making the switch from employee to entrepreneur requires many changes, not only with your new responsibilities, but your mindset as well. You'll have lots of new thoughts and fears, but overall, employees who want to be entrepreneurs seek the advantages of providing products and services that they're passionate about while reaping the benefits of being self-directed with their own business. In today's podcast episode, I cover some of the most critical steps to take when you're going from an employee to an entrepreneur. You'll need to think differently as an entrepreneur. Most entrepreneurs will always feel some sort of fear, but when you make the decision to get started with your business or side hustle, you'll see why there's so many people starting their own businesses. It's a freedom that you'll only be able to experience when you take the leap. Whether you're starting a business or side hustle, you're a self-employed individual, a solopreneur, entrepreneur, mompreneur, freelancer, business owner, bookkeeper, or virtual assistant. If you're ready to make the shift from employee to entrepreneur, take the steps that I talk about in this episode and stop thinking and start doing. Make a decision and do it now. If you're a business owner who wants to take your business to the next level, whether you're starting a business, you're building your business, or you're serious about growing your business, I want to invite you to work with me so that you can meet your goals in the most accelerated, streamlined, and efficient way possible. That also aligns with your life and the impact that you want to make with your business. As a CPA, business strategist, and coach, I've created two options for you to choose from when you work with me. The first is my Mastering Your Small Business Finances Profit Lab. This is a group program where we have live weekly business meetings and coaching sessions to answer your questions so that you can generate revenues and increase the profit in your business. You can learn more about the Profit Lab by going to financialadventure.com slash profit. Or if you like the idea of working with me on a more private, one-on-one basis, you can schedule a free consultation session where we'll go over where you currently are in your business and where you'd like to see yourself and your business in the future. During this session, we'll begin to map out the steps you need to take to achieve your goals. I'm helping my clients start their businesses, become more profitable, set strategies to move their business forward, and take control of their business and their finances while allowing them the balance and ability to enjoy their personal lives by utilizing business strategy, coaching, mentorship, and support. You can schedule your session today by going to financialadventure.com and clicking on the Work With Me button. By taking action in your business, you'll achieve your goals. By keeping everything simple, you'll avoid confusion and overwhelm. You'll understand your business finances, your next steps, and you'll follow through with the vision that you have for your business. My goal is to help you dream big, follow your heart, and love what you do. You're listening to the Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast, where we get straight to the point on topics that ultimately affect your bottom line. That's right, as an entrepreneur with a small business, money management, growth, marketing, they all affect your bottom line. I'm your host, Chris Ponick. I'm a certified public accountant, and I've been helping small business owners like you navigate and easily understand these complicated topics for over 25 years. I'm a wife, a mom, a grandmother, and a small business owner myself, so I know your time is valuable. In my free time, I make the best sugar cookies and have mastered an amazing chocolate chip cookie recipe. And that's not just my opinion. You're in the right place. I promise your time will be well spent here. Each week you'll gain confidence and clarity while making a successful impact on your business and grow your bottom line. Get comfy, grab a cookie, and let's get straight to the point with this week's episode. Welcome back. Are you thinking about starting your business or have you already taken the leap and now you're looking for some additional help managing your entrepreneurship? 
When you start a side hustle or a business as a solopreneur, you want to ensure you're doing what you love. You should be setting realistic goals and have a good understanding of who you are and what you'd like to do with the skills that you've acquired throughout your lifetime. As an entrepreneur, you need to be a leader in your business. So you want to make sure that you're starting a business that you are so passionate about that you can maintain the perseverance to run your business throughout every stage and still continue on. This includes all of the ups and the downs in your business. I want to start by asking you a few questions you should consider when you're making the move from an employee to an entrepreneur. These are some of the questions that I ask my clients when I'm coaching them or working through their business strategy. I really want you to think about these questions. If you're able, take a few minutes and pause after each question and answer it before going on to the next question. Or come back and re-listen to this episode when you're able. The first question is what are you passionate about? What are your skills? Do you have something that you do that just makes time fly by? What would your perfect life look like? What does success mean to you? If you knew you wouldn't fail, what would you want to do? How can you solve someone else's problem with the skills and the knowledge that you already have? Once you have the answers to these questions, you can start researching your business ideas and get ready to start your business. Most entrepreneurs are ready to start their businesses so that it can bring them closer to the purpose that they want to fulfill in their life. Many will start their business small. When starting a business as a side hustle, entrepreneurs can keep the stability and the earnings from their current job while they're getting their business started and then grow their business when the opportunity arises. This is an excellent way to test your business ideas. Overall, you want to be ready to spend the time and energy needed to successfully get your business up and running. You want to work smarter and leverage your skills and your time by outsourcing whenever possible. You'll want to research your ideal clients to see what they're willing to pay for and what problem you can solve for them. You'll want to understand their needs and how you and your business can help them. When you have your own business, you need to be ready to wear many different hats especially if you're a solopreneur. You may find yourself doing marketing and sales one day and bookkeeping and accounting the next. You'll be the one in charge. And if you're not able to delegate or outsource to leverage your time and availability in your business, you may find that you need to learn a few new skills if necessary. You'll need to manage your stress and have people that you can talk to who can help you move through any stressful situations or other thoughts that might be holding you back so that you can keep moving forward. If you need someone to keep you accountable and assist you with gaining a different perspective on your business, having a business strategist or coach like me can really help. Make sure that you're staying organized and conscious of the time that you're spending on your business. Having a positive mindset and staying focused on your goals, as well as the future of your business, is essential. You'll need to think differently. You'll need to be creative and think outside the box. You're the boss, and unlike when you were an employee and you only had specific options available to you, now the possibilities are endless with your new business. You'll need to make sure that you're thinking not only in the present and your day-to-day business, but you'll need to keep the vision of your future business in mind as well. You'll need to know your overall goals and each step you need to take to get there. You can't let obstacles stop you. This is the time that you will use your obstacles to essentially become the stepping stones that you need to get you from where you are now to where you want your business to go in the future. And you never want to be afraid to promote your business. You'll need to have the communication skills and the ability to network so that everyone you know is informed about your business. Evolving as an entrepreneur in your business is going to take time. One of the most important things that you can do in your business is to remain future-focused on your business. 
Envision where you want your business to be in the next six months, one year, and even three to five years. As you see this vision, think about the person that you need to be to run this business. What do you need to focus on? What do you need to do to dial into the business that you want? What are you going to say yes to? Give yourself permission to step into the next level of entrepreneurship as the business leader of the business you see in the future. How are you utilizing your time to ensure that you're able to reach your goals? Can you be self-motivated and hold yourself accountable to achieve them? Or do you know you need to invest in yourself? As a solopreneur, you're essentially your business and you want to succeed. Going from being an employee to an entrepreneur, especially a solopreneur, can be lonely. You want to make sure that you have a mentor or a business coach available for questions and to keep you on track to reach your goals. And lastly, I want to talk to you about the risk of failure. This is often something business owners don't want to think about, but it is vital to experience the discomfort of thinking about failure. It's inevitable that in your business, you'll experience failures and setbacks, and I want to make sure that you are prepared. Some of the best lessons happen when there are failures in business. You'll learn and grow the most during these failures. Don't resist failure. You'll experience discomfort, but when you embrace that discomfort, it will move you closer to your goal and grow your capacity, not only for your business, but you as the business owner as well. If you're ready to start seeing what's possible in your business, as well as what you need to do to achieve your vision and goals, you can sign up for a free consultation session with me by going to financialadventure.com and clicking on the Work With Me button. I'm helping individuals go from employee to entrepreneur while planning their business, following their passion, remaining persistent, and helping them embrace the discomfort of failure and allowing them to move through it anyway so that they can learn and grow. And I'm looking forward to working with you soon. And you know I'm going to ask, what's at least one thing that you can take away from this episode that will help your business succeed and grow your bottom line? If you need some accountability, join our private Facebook community and post your action item. We'd love to support you. Thanks for taking the time to tune into this episode of Mastering Your Small Business Finances. If you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed creating it for you, I'd love for you to give it a five-star rating and subscribe to the show so you never miss an episode. Visit financialadventure.com for the show notes, links from this episode, and while you're there, leave a comment if you have a topic you're interested in learning more about that affects your bottom line. If you're looking for a community where you can ask questions and get feedback about your small business, join my private Facebook group. You can find the links to this group and more on financialadventure.com. And remember, any financial information shared on this podcast is not to be considered professional, financial, or tax advice and should not be solely relied upon. Please consult your CPA or tax advisor for an opinion on your specific circumstances. I'm looking forward to having you tune in next time. Until then, dream big, follow your heart, and love what you do.